you are now watching the new and improved illustrating with the paintbrush tutorial. If you haven't figured it out by now, there are such things as lines and fills in Flash. The pencil tool is responsible for lines and the paintbrush tool is responsible for fills. So what I'm going to do is open up a new file and do command N or I'm going to go to file new. I'll hit OK. I'll zoom in here because I can barely see. Now I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to open, I'm going to search for superhero comic characters. All right. Now what we're looking for is not line art, but we're looking for a specific style. Okay. This comic book style. Notice how we have a black outline here. We have a black outline here. Okay. There's several you don't want to do because it's either too intricate or it's line art, but you do want the comic book. For example, you, we don't want to do something like this. It's funny, but that's more like line art. We want the comic style. I'm going to choose this Superman right here. I'm going to right click, say copy image, go back to my flash, my new file, paste that image. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is insert a new layer and I'm going to choose my paintbrush. I've got a color other than black so I can find out what I'm painting. And it really helps if you're drawing with the mouse to zoom in to what you're doing. Even if it's pixelated, that's all right. We're working in vector art, so it's going to look good. Now, I want to paint this, but it's a little bit too thick. So I'm going to go and go to my size here and choose a smaller size. I'm going to choose the vertical brush size and just go over the black outlines. Now right here I might want to switch back to my horizontal because it gets skinnier over in this direction. I'll stick with that. Choose paint bucket. Fill that. Come back. Maybe take my round brush. Fill in the eye here. Maybe go back to my horizontal one. Put some shading right there. Vertical. Maybe make this a little bit bigger. This cheekbone. I'll use the paint bucket fill for this first, but I'm creating a border right now. You don't have to be that specific because it's going to look good anyway if you do it right. Get the eye. I might want my vertical for this one. I'm down right here, close that off, go get my horizontal, like so, paintbrush. Now I'm going to fast forward here so we can see until I do the whole face and then I'm going to make the layer beneath invisible. Okay, I fast forwarded and I'm gonna make the bottom layer invisible. And just using those tracing techniques, you can see that whatever you create, if you do it right, looks pretty good. Let's go over to another file that I've been working on. I imported this picture of Storm. Step one is to do the black outlines, which I have here. So now the next step is to fill it. Directly take the paint bucket tool and fill. Remember, you have the close small gaps, don't close gaps option. Okay, that filled a little bit too much, so I'm going to go back and say close small gaps. All right. Now, for the most part, you are going to have trapped enclosed areas that you can fill. But for other parts, like Storm's hair here, we see that we have gray and white, and there's no separation between it. So here's where we're going to use layers to aid in our illustration. I'm going to go back to my Superman file. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and start filling in the arm. So I'll take the eyedropper and I'll sample the blue in my paint bucket. So I just go ahead and do that. Another example of using layers is once I take these fills and turn them black, I notice if I make this invisible, I still have some glare that you might have depending on the picture you have. In this case, this glare is this lighter blue. So I'm going to sample that lighter blue 
And instead of painting on top because I can't see beneath it, what I'm going to do is insert a new layer and then just make the one beneath it invisible. And then simply paint my glare. Then when I make the bottom reappear, we have our nice glare. We'll go back over here to Storm. Now we'll, de we'll deal with her hair. I have a bunch of different layers set up, but I don't want you to get confused. So what I'm going to do for now is just make these two invisible. Or actually, let's delete them. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I got my background layer that I'm tracing. And then I got my fills and my black outlines in this layer. So to do the hair, I'm going to insert a new layer in between them. I can lock these if I want to, which is a good idea. I'll make sure I'm in, I'm in the right layer and I'm going to sample my color and I'll get this gray. Now, if I tried to fill in this gray, there's all these gaps here. So that's not going to work. That's why I'm using a different layer. So now I can just kind of trap or enclose my gray here. And it's going to go underneath the black outlines. Whoops. I don't even need to be too careful about it. Okay, now what I'm really creating is that. So now I can go and fill that in. And then with my black outlines, they're covered. So now I can be a little bit more specific if I want to. I can choose a vertical brush, or I'm sorry, a horizontal brush. Make this a little bit cleaner. And now I can go back over with my white. And really, I don't even need to look at the layer beneath. I'm just come over here, block in the majority of it. I'll go back for the finer points. Again, my sloppiness is hidden by my layer on top. I'm gonna to make it connect to the gray. Just like that. And then I'm just gonna fill it. See what I have. Now I can go back over the finer points. If I need to make the brush smaller, I can do that too, which I'm gonna to have to do for these finer points. And you don't have to worry about gaps. If it's too sloppy, then I can just come back over maybe with a smaller brush and just go over it like right here also. And eventually using these techniques, you're going to have the whole thing done. We don't want to worry about the background. We just want to worry about the main character. Keep it simple. And this concludes our illustrating with paintbrush tutorial. Thank you for tuning in.